Uh, I'm Paul Lippman, president of Quantum Information Platforms at Cold Quanta. So a bit of background on the company. Uh, we're probably best known for designing, developing, and manufacturing uh, products for trapping, cooling, and manipulating atoms, and also ions as well. The glass cell uh, on the screen here is uh, one of that uh, product set, and we sell those to other quantum companies in the ecosystem to researchers uh, around the world. We also use those products to create a variety of quantum platforms, from quantum computing that I'll talk about today, uh, our unique quantum dynamics platform called Albert. We have a number of initiatives in quantum sensors, from inertial sensing to RF sensing. We develop optical lattice clocks, some of the most precise instruments ever developed by humanity, and a number of initiatives in quantum communications. Uh, and the longer term vision for the company is to connect these quantum sensors with quantum computers and quantum signal processing platforms via quantum networks to solve some of the largest problems facing the world. Uh, atoms are a particularly uh, attractive uh, approach for building gate-based quantum computers. Uh, we pack them together, as has been said, in these very uh, tight two-dimensional arrays. In fact, the core of our QPU is the glass cell I'm holding up here, which could hold tens of thousands uh, of qubits, and we're calling them to microkelvin with uh, lasers, so no cryogenics. They have very high connectivity uh, across the array, will ultimately scale to over 100 to 1 uh, and beyond in terms of connectivity, uh, which will give us a variety of very compelling approaches for uh, more efficient error correction codes. And then lastly, and perhaps most importantly, the core of the QPU is the glass cell I showed you before. The rest of the computer is optics, it's photonics, it's electronics, all of which can be miniaturized. And actually, we had experience miniaturizing at Cold Quanta. We've put quantum systems on the International Space Station. And our goal over the next five years is to take quantum to the edge and deploy these powerful quantum computers as rack mountable devices. We've achieved a number of really compelling industry firsts in cold atom computing. We have a paper that was recently published in Nature, along with our academic partners and with Riverlane, demonstrating for the first time the execution of algorithms on a neutral atom platform. We have another paper uh, that just went up on the archive where we've demonstrated the largest ever trapped array of atoms, over 1,200 atoms trapped, and those are precursors then to becoming operationalized qubits. Uh, and we will shortly announce the world's first commercially available gate-based cold atom quantum computer called Hilbert. Uh, in terms of where we're going longer term, uh, by 2025, uh, our goal is to have a thousand qubit device. And as I've shown, we've already demonstrated that very critical precursor step of trapping the atom array. Uh, and by the end of the decade, uh, our goal is to be uh, in the region of a million qubits. And as I said, those individual uh, modules, those glass cells, can hold tens of thousands of qubits. So to get to the million qubit range is a, a fairly modest number uh, of QPU modules, uh, as opposed to some other modalities that require uh, enormous numbers uh, of modules and all of the complexity uh, around connectivity. Uh, in terms of our interests for the QDC marketplace, uh, we're always interested in engaging broadly in the quantum ecosystem, certainly with customers, whether it be uh, for getting access to the Hilbert cloud system, for the underlying components, the physics packages, the ion traps, the glass cells. We're talking to a select number of customers and national programs about full stack quantum computers that we would deploy on premise. And then on the partnership side, we partner very broadly in the application and software space, and certainly always interested in working with partners to bring added value to our customers. So thank you very much.